Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing off my Lincoln City shirt collection. So we're going to start from oldest to newest so chronological order. And we're starting off with this one. Which is 2006-2007, don't quote me on that. I think it's 2006-2007. I bought this a while ago off of eBay. It's made by Old Sport. It's the only one in my collection that is not made by Area. And uh, it's quite nice. It's obviously the only one I own also with the old Lincoln badge. One thing I like about it is it's 3D. Um, it's really hard to show on there, but the best way is to feel it. You have one. Uh, I like that it's almost got like a... Um, you can't see it very well on the camera there. It's almost got like a pattern, a zigzag. So it was like when you break sellotape off a sellotape machine, it has that jagged edge and that's what I reminded it does. It's quite nice. It's just fairly basic. Sponsored by... Uh, star glaze, very nice, and the back has got a space for lettering. Uh, we've got a little thing like that, and it's got a redimps.com, what used to be Lincoln's uh, website on it, and now it's, it's changed now. But this was like over 15 years ago. This shirt is just as old as I am, it's quite scary actually. The only thing I don't like about it though is the collar is just a bit odd, but apart from that, it's a, it's a quite nice shirt. I do like the patterning on it, not that you can see it very well on the camera. Next up on my, my chair of church, chair, chair, chair. <laughs> Chair of shirts. We have this one. It's the it's the green away shirt from the 16, 17 season. The season that Lanny Cowley got us promoted from the National League. It's quite nice. I like it. It's Lincoln green, and it's we've been longing for a Lincoln green kit now, and we still haven't got one yet. Okay, so my next shirts kind of go together. They're the same but different, if you know what I mean. I'll start with this one because it's just the, the regular one. It's the 1780 home shirt and it's sponsored by Bishop Grosseteste University. Made by area again, as the rest of these kits will be. It's, it's, it's nice. Um, it's the, the badge is embroidered on this time instead of being uh, like stuck on like it was on that green one. I own two of these, and the reason I own two is because this one is a match worn shirt from Lou Bortful. I got given this, I can't even remember when, I just got given it at some point. Uh, you see it's been much worn, it's got the, the patches on the arms. And what most of them don't have is the the poppy on the front. So these were only worn in one match this season, so it's quite a rare shirt. You wouldn't find it anywhere else. It's really good. I, I like it. It's the only match worn collection I, match worn shirt I own and I think it's really cool. Again we have the 17 and uh, the 17 18 shirt which is uh there's the away shirt of course and this just has a printed badge on again and i don't like the printed badges i prefer it when it's embroidered in it feels more like the shirt but we do have an embroidered array badge on this one which the other one didn't okay this one's sponsored by Solenity because they changed their name on the green shirt it was sponsored by software europe um, but they changed their name to Solenity to shorten it down this is also has Luke Wolf on the back and I bought this off my off one of my friends and it had Waterfall on the back. I was looking for one of these so that's why I got it. I didn't really care that I'd do Waterfall on the back. Alright so next up we are on 1819 home. This was a very controversial design when it came out with these weird dotted stripes and it had the weird bit on the back. We've not seen something like this for a while and I, I think it's alright. It grew on me and then it's kind of ungrown on me since. This is signed by Danny Nicky Cowley not long before they left actually, um, which is a shame. But yeah, I'm glad I got the signatures and it's also signed by the man on the back, Bruno Andrade. I believe I got this as a birthday present, I believe. No, Christmas present. Yeah, I got this as a Christmas present. Right. So the next shirt is of course from and is the away shirt from the 1819 season. It's sponsored by APSS. This is just printed on. Um, embroidered badges on both this time which I like and it's just it's just another way it's a bit weird it's got a black sleeves uh, it's the second year in a row we've had a dark away kit um, and it's it's all right it's got I got it's got Anderson on the back signed by him as well um, it, it's all right it's just a bit basic and I'm not the biggest fan of it but I've got it anyway okay so we are moving on to this season it's not really this season it's because this season's cancelled whatever uh, and it is the 1920 shirt. A lot of people don't like this because it's got SRP higher solutions on it. They do hire out toilets, which will bit some people off. But you don't. It, it doesn't say toilet hire on it. It just says high solutions. And I, I like it. It's just quite. It's got three stripes, and it's. I do like the collar, the button that it buttons up. There's two buttons there, which I think is really good. And I've got. It's got Anderson on the back with. I've not had a chance to actually get it signed because season end of uh, the season, you know, I'm not sure if any of these some of these players will get it signed, 
because the season is kind of a bit awkward. And next up, we have the same 1920 away. Uh, again, I like it's, it's quite nice. Um, it's the only thing is it's grey. Um, it's the third year running, we've had grey now. I'm hoping for the 2021 season is not going to be grey because we're going to get a bit fed up of grey. But it's all right. It's got SRP again on it. Um, it's great. It's white and it's not. It doesn't stand out. It gave the, the other one. It gave a bit of color to it. This one is. It doesn't give that much color. It's got these like blue beading along this weird top mesh bit, and it's got Imps 1884 on it. This one's got Hesketh on it. Again, not been signed because not had the chance to get it signed. Also, got this like blue, blue bit on the bottom. Um, it's like a trim that goes around the bottom, but it doesn't go around the front. It's only on the back, and it's a bit weird. It's, just how it is, I guess. And then to, to round off this video, we have the limited edition third shirt. There were only 500 of these, and I got it. I've got it with Morel on the back. I have quite a few with uh, names on the back, that's how I like it. But it's got, it, I, I liked it. It's got this is the Lincoln, Lincoln, the blue, and then it's the Lincoln green. This is like the closest we've seen to Lincoln green on a kit since that away kit that I started the video. I like it, it's got leather fleur de lis on it. And it's, I, I, I like it, we worn it, we only wore it once in a match And that was against Sunderland away, that was not a nice experience we, we don't like to speak about Sunderland away Anyway, thank you guys for watching I hope you like this video, I hope you like seeing all my uh, Lincolnshire collection It will grow in the future, I'm working on getting some older shirts um, Like, I, re I really like the uh, 17, 16, 17 home shirt Because I've only, I've only got the away one And because when I went to buy it, they only had the uh, Home shirt, the away shirt so yeah thank you for watching please like and subscribe as it does help the channel out and anyway thanks for watching